Hi boys and girls. Hope all my STEM friends are doing good. It's me, Ms. Schnault, and we're gonna do a, a science experiment using milk and some food coloring and Dawn. And um, I have my Star Wars shirt on in honor of Star Wars Day on May 4th. And um, I know a lot of you are Star Wars fans and I know my friend Michael will really like this. So wore this for you. But um, I'm gonna change my camera angle so you can see what I'm doing. Sorry for the shakiness. Okay, so what I have, and let me see if you can see it. What I have is a bowl right here. And um, as in all science experiments, I'm gonna try out some different things. But the first thing I'm gonna start with, if you can see this, is some, it's called almond milk. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pour the almond milk into this bowl. Get a little more. And I have um, different colored, different um, colors of food coloring. So what I'm gonna do to start is I'm gonna do a couple drops of red. I'm gonna do a couple drops of yellow. And I'm gonna do them all toward the middle of the bowl. So I'm gonna do green. And boys and girls, this is exciting for me because I haven't even tried it yet. So we hope this works. And I'm gonna do some blue. All right, then I'm gonna take a Q-tip, which I have here, and I'm gonna put it in some Dawn dish soap and watch what happens. I hope you can see this. I'm gonna set it at the very front, uh, middle of all the colors and watch what happens. See the colors moving and spreading? Look how beautiful this is. Can you believe that? Look at that. So what's happening is um, milk contains mostly water, but it has a lot of vitamins, minerals, proteins, and it also has little drops of fat in it. And the fats and proteins are sensitive to the changes um, in the surrounding milk. And what happens is the secret of the bursting colors is the, t is the tiny drops of soap that I'm using. The soap attaches to the fat in the milk and that's when the fun begins. It begins to bend and roll and twist in all different directions. So what I'm going to do now, I just thought I would try this, is I have a special type of paper. It's called watercolor paper watercolor paper but what I read and I have not tried this either is if you set it on top and leave it for a minute that you can make you can capture some of those beautiful colors and look at that it's prettier than I expected whoa so I'm gonna put this down. So I also read that the higher the fat content in the milk, the better this would work. So I used a, um, a, a almond milk that has a higher fat content, but I also have some 1%, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I also have some 1% milk, which is a lower fat content in my refrigerator. So I wanna see if it works the same using a lower fat content. So once again, I'm gonna put, ooh, look at all the bubbles. I'm gonna put some blue. Look at how differently the drops are going in even. They sort of spread out with this kind of milk. So I wonder if this is gonna work the same. Let's do green and blue. Do you think it's gonna work the same? Okay, let me get myself another, I'll just use the other end of this Q-tip. I'm gonna put it in the Dawn, move it all around, and let's see what happens. Whoa! <laughs> that is amazing. I think it worked just as good. And finally, it's gonna stop. Ooh, let's put a piece of paper on this side. Look at all those colors. 
Okay, so let me get my piece of paper here. And I want to get it. Will it fit that way? Let me see if I can get some of this color to move over here so I can get a prettier picture. Let's see. I'm going to set it down right on top. Let it sit there for one second. And look at that. My pretty picture. And I'm going to set this one out to dry as well. Look at that. Can you see these colors right now? It is absolutely beautiful. And look at it still moving. Do you see the circles forming? Isn't that amazing? Look at that. I'm going to do one more piece of paper just because those colors are so gorgeous. I'm going to set it down. Let it sit for a minute. I almost think the milk with the lower fat content, the 12%, look at that worked even better and i'm going to set this over here to dry look at it going i i gotta make sure you see this look at this look at it it is still moving and changing and look at the colors mixing i see oranges i see purples that is awesome Okay, let me move this back so you can see. All right, I'm gonna move this aside. That has, that might be my favorite experiment, but I'm gonna do it one more time. Let's do this. Let's experiment even a little bit more. Let's use some almond milk with the, the higher fat content and let's, let's mix a little low fat. All right. And let's put more colors in. I'm gonna put a lot in, why not? Why not? That'll be even more fun. And let's put some yellow. Ooh, look at the colors bouncing around. And do a little green. And lastly, some blue. And let's watch the magic happen. Okay, let me get my Q-tip. Put the Dawn on the edge of the Q-tip, wipe some off. Can you see? I just wanna make sure you can see this. There we go. And let's put it in the middle and see what happens. Whoa! Look at this. This is just absolutely Amazing, and look, you can even move the colors over. Look at this. Oh, friends, this is exciting. Look at that beautiful masterpiece. Let's watch it for a second and see as it moves. Do you see here, look at this circle getting bigger. What's happening is that dish soap is still reacting and it's changing. Oh, that's beautiful. I can't wait to see what this picture turns out like. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna press it down a little bit. I'm gonna let it just sit there for one second. And I'm gonna try to take it off real quick. One, two, three. Look at that. I mean, that is my favorite. And I'm gonna try to keep it very flat so the colors do not move. Let's do one more. And then I'll show you, let's move some of these colors over here. You see that happening? Look at that rainbow right there. Let's see if we can get that on this piece of paper. And voila, look at that. Look at, see that, see it's still moving on the paper? Let's see if we try to put a little dish soap, what happens? Oh, look, you can sort of spread the colors out by just touching the dish soap to it. So let me put this down here with my others and take my glove off. I'm glad I thought to wear gloves. That was a very smart decision. And 
Let me see if you can see my beautiful pictures right there. I have a beautiful collection. I think I like that one right there on the right the best. But um, anyway, that was so much fun and I miss you all in STEM so much and can't wait to see you. Mwah.